Hello, I'm Michael Dixon, General Manager of Smarter Cities at IBM. Houston's one of many cities striving to become a smarter city. Cities around the world are looking to the things that matter most to them. Transport, emergency management, water management, health, education, and of course, waste management. These things are all very important, and some are more important than others. Cities focus on one, two, really as many three things as they work to make the biggest impact they can in both improving levels of service and improving the costs associated with it. There's no such thing as spare funding. I travel around the world and I'm yet to find a city that wants to spend money. We've got lots of money to spend, what should we do with it? Most cities are struggling to make sure that their budget spending uh, is, is equal to their revenue and they don't run a deficit. Leadership is essential. Cities don't buy things, boards don't buy things, governments don't buy things. People, people lead, people do these things. And the leadership that we're seeing from Mayor Parker and Director Panjan in a critical area of, of Houston's focus, waste management, really reflects that fact. Cities haven't changed in a long time. 5,000 years ago, we could have imagined people living in, sleeping in different buildings, sick people in other buildings, people that need to be kept away from others, children in rooms, listening to adults. And that model hasn't really changed much for 5,000 years. Similarly, rubbish was all about separating the rubbish from the people and that model hasn't changed either. But things have really changed the last 20 years as we've seen a new electronic fabric being put in place around cities, providing a dramatic new opportunity for cities to develop in ways that just a few short years ago were not, just not thought possible. The currency of this fantastic infrastructure is data and Harvard is increasingly writing about an era of fact-based management education, experience, good judgment is fast giving away to the analysis of large amounts of facts to give unprecedented insight and opportunity to make decisions to make very lasting changes in ways that weren't, weren't considered possible just a few short years ago. The rise of cloud-based delivery systems, analytics based on very large amounts of data, mobile access with people all over the world using their mobile phones to get access to things as and when it's important to them, and social media has produced a new way of communicating. Citizens have a voice, the ability to speak both as, as individuals and as groups which come together around important issues. So we're seeing these new approaches appearing in cities. And, and, and waste management, a, a very critical area in Houston, is very much one of those. Perhaps they're related to this very strong move around the world. It's very focused on the preservation of the environment and a real, realisation of just how finite it is and we're starting to see sustainability really come to the fore as something that many cities are focused on. So IBM's joined a group of world-class companies that have been assembled by EcoHub to focus on Houston. They are proposing an innovative approach for waste management for the city where they absolutely reflect this approach where waste is seen not as something which needs to be taken away and buried and separated from, from society, but something that is brought into the society and exploited in many different ways to generate all sorts of things that can be used and, and derive benefit from locally. Houston has the opportunity to lead in a way that many other cities, we think, will want to follow in years to come, to bring together data and the various issues that I've talked about in a way that provides lasting economic value and a real new industry thriving in Houston around a very innovative way to deal with waste is an exciting place to be. We're very much looking forward to being part of the project and we look forward to further discussions with the City of Houston. Thank you.